Hey everybody, Marianne Knowles here with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Lipley Real Estate. Today's video is a very important one, so if you are in the market to buy or sell, please watch this video to the end. I'm sure many of you have heard about the lawsuit against the National Association of Realtors, and it was announced on March 15th that business is going to change from here on out, so let's get into it. Okay, so in the past in the state of Florida, it wasn't a requirement for a buyer's agent to ask a buyer to sign a buyer brokerage agreement for exclusivity. Now that there's been a lawsuit, it is mandated nationwide in effect in August that we do ask buyers to sign that exclusivity agreement. Now, most of us professionals are already using these buyer brokerage agreements because again, it is something that is going to be a requirement in August. So we're already starting to get into the groove of these new systems. If you are a buyer and you have an agent that hasn't mentioned it to you yet, you might want to bring it up to them and ask why they haven't brought it up to you. Also, if you have an agent that you worked with in the past that is now asking you to sign it, again, just a reminder, this is something that is now a requirement nationwide, so everybody's going to be implementing this. Okay, so one of the biggest things is the compensation that's due to a buyer's agent. For some reason in the past, we never really disclosed what we were getting compensated to buyers, and it wasn't for any reason other than the fact that it just wasn't ever mentioned. Now with the buyer brokerage, a buyer's agent needs to disclose what their professional fee is going to be, and it is going to be mentioned in that buyer brokerage agreement. I guess I should backtrack and mention that people are saying that this means that now sellers no longer have to pay a compensation to the buyer's agent. Sellers never had to pay compensation anyway. Every time a transaction takes place and the seller is paying compensation, it has always been a choice. They never had to. When a seller offers compensation, it's in their best interest because sellers don't really care about the price as long as they're netting what they want to net. By offering compensation to a buyer's agent, it means that that buyer's agent is coming in and providing enough value to bring you and their buyer to the closing table, which is really what you want as a seller. So does this mean now when I send you a buyer brokerage agreement, it means that I'm asking you to pay my compensation out of your pocket? Not necessarily, because again, sellers know the importance of offering compensation. They've always understood it, and that's why they've always chosen to do it. Now, should we come across a property that isn't offering compensation? This is where you wanna make sure that you've hired the right realtor. We're not only supposed to be strong with the market, but we're supposed to be strong in our negotiation skills. For me personally, I have gone through the designation course to be an accredited buyer's representative, which means that we have gone through everything under the sun when it comes to negotiating. And that means I can negotiate my commission into your offer. At the end of the day, sellers want to net what they wanna net and you wanna get your home for what you wanna offer. It's our job to get everything done in between. So again, this is just a soft welcome into what the buyer brokerage is. If you have any questions, please know I'm always happy to answer, especially on a topic like this. But just know that this is something that is nationwide. We all have to do it. And we all have to ask our buyers to sign that buyer brokerage before we even open up a door. So don't be alarmed if we come out and ask you to sign something right off the bat. You're not signing your life away, I promise you. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Take care.